No, 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 it just did not work. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's personal video in my series Anxiety and Me. First of all a huge apology I tried so hard last night to get this all recorded and edited and rendered and uploaded but it came out in some weird 360 degree because I was trying to do 4k anyway i've since then realized that my actual faithful webcam only does 1080p so it was a complete waste of time so in this video i'm going to be answering a question that was posed to me um, not so long ago when i was busy explaining my anxiety to people and the question that they asked me was are you now cured are you cured of your anxiety? And I, I thought this was a really interesting question. And I sort of like thought, hmm, how do I answer this? Now, I have to say right up front in the beginning of this video, then please remember that I tried to do this in one take. So wish me luck. And I apologize for any of the mistakes that happen. And also that I keep looking down because I've got my notes there. Um, but. The other thing that I have to say at this point is that I am not a medical practitioner. So if you are feeling um, anxious or anxiety or depressed or any mental health issues, then please do contact a medical practitioner and have a chat to them. Okay then, so am I cured? Well, the first thing I have to say is that I don't think anxiety ever goes away. It's always there lurking in the back of your mind, ready to sort of like engulf you and take you off um, somewhere, probably down a path that you don't really want to go to. Am I cured? No, I still have anxiety. And in future videos, I'll try to explain to you what sets me off. But one thing I would say is that I think I'm not cured, but I think I'm more in control of it. And I think that's the, the essence of anxiety and being and self in the sense that in order to beat it, you have to gain more control over it. And it's only by getting that control that you tend to suppress uh, your um, panic attacks or anxiety attacks. Now, I have to say, if you remember my last video, I was talking about going to this clinical psychologist. And one thing that I hope you took away from that video was this idea that you have to be prepared to change. And frequently when I was a hundred times worse than this for with my anxiety then I really did think that there was going to be a pill or something I could do or magic word that would just cure it and I'm afraid that does not exist as far as I'm aware there might be some pills that suppress it but it's still there you're almost like treating the symptoms and not the actual cause and that's what um, going to the clinical psychologist helped me to do. And what it did, it gave me strategies that I can use um, all the time when I'm getting anxious or panic attacks or anything like that. And I thought I would share them with you today. Now, I have to say at this point, again, these work for me the majority of the time. So they might not work for you. So it's really important that you get your own um, um, strategies that fits your um, type of anxiety. Now, the first thing I would like to share with you is that not necessarily what it feels like, but almost uh, how it feels like. And in order to get better with anxiety, you have to put yourself in a position where you are anxious. Well, that's what I've, I'm, what I had to do and what I'm having to do. And the easiest way I can uh, get you to imagine what it's like is that imagine your worst fear, your phobia, whether or not it's clowns or snakes or spiders or heights and having a choice that you can either go through the next 10 minutes without encountering those things at all or you can encounter them, have to stay in that um, situation for 10 minutes. Now, most of us will think, right, we got to leave it. But when you're trying to beat anxiety, you're trying to almost like make your rational mind 
take over your body rather than the fight flight mechanism. So you actually have to put yourself into these situations then you are almost like petrified to go into. So what were what were my strategies or more apt what are my strategies? So the first thing I do is that I try to stay in the moment. And that might be sound really strange to you, you know, especially if I'm in a room that is making me anxious. But what I try to do is not think too far ahead. I get a lot of panic attacks and anxiety when I'm looking ahead and thinking, I have to go there. What's going to happen? This is going to happen. This is could happen. This could happen. And so when I find myself, my brain sort of like moving ahead, of the actual present and engaging and formulating a whole load of different outcomes. I try to think, no, how much how come back, come back, focus on the here and now. And instead of having my persona in my body, I try to project it out. So I'm looking around and so like looking at the wonders around you. And I, I know it sounds coy, but that's literally what I, I do. And I try not to think think or overthink things at all. Then the next thing I try to do is not panic. And I have various methods to try to withstand this. And what I'm meaning is that when something happens or I'm in a certain situation, my fight and flight mechanism is hyper. It's so high. I just want to run out, scream and run out, or sometimes just curl up in a ball or hide somewhere or ex total extremes just pass out and faint. And what I try to do is that I try to take my mind off the situation and I have some crazy ways of doing this. Um, my favourite, especially when I'm panicking, when I'm falling to sleep, uh, is to sing, and you're going to laugh now, and I don't mind you laughing, go ahead is to sing um, my favourite things from The Sound of Music. You know, raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. And the reason I sing it, and I don't sing it fast, I, I sing raindrops on roses. And what I do, I try to engage my mind to think, imagine in every single detail, raindrops on roses. And I try to get my brain to say, no, don't worry about that panicky thing. Concentrate on forming this image. Do it now. And I and that's what I do. So I'm going raindrops on roses, picturing it, picturing it, picturing it, and whiskers on kittens. And I think the only thing I reason I choose that song, I think it's because it's got lots of imagery in it. Okay then, so I try to stay in the moment, stay here now without looking forward. I try not to panic. And the other thing that I do is that I breathe deeply and count to 10. And I always remember when I used to get mad when I was a little boy, uh, my mum would always say to me, count to 10, count to 10. And it's, it does work. And when I say I count to 10 and do deep breathing, what I do is that I, I breathe in through my mouth, nose and out through my mouth. So I actually go, one and then I repeat it and the, the temptation is to quickly do it but what, what I'm trying to do is calm everything down trying to lower my heart rate trying to convince my body that we don't need to either fight or flight we're just able to sort of like stay in the moment so those are my strategies that I use and I use them almost like every day, <laughs> well, every hour sometimes to try to sort of like keep me calm, even when I'm trying to fall to sleep or walk into work or anything like that. So a question to you guys is what strategies do you use if you have panic attacks or anxiety? What well, you know, let me know in the comments below. And the other thing I would do, if possible, is that if you have if you've enjoyed this video or it's been helpful to you or you've shared it with somebody who thinks would benefit from me almost like talking about this and being out there with my anxiety, then don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. That will be absolutely fantastic because not only are you supporting the channel, but you're also supporting my dream as well. Oh.
I didn't want it to come on and it keeps coming on and off by itself but I've I've sorted it I've sorted it anyway I hope that's been useful for you next week I'm going to come back and we're going to have a look at the second sentence of my one of my mantras of life if you remember last time we looked at um, give out generously so we'll be doing the next one next week which is give in graciously so if you have enjoyed this video then don't forget to like comment and subscribe and press that bell button so you get notification when I go live again until then I would just like to say to each and every one of you have fun and until then carry on your deep breathing and keeping calm see you all later friends see ya bye